Yeah, but then there's another one from an Amazon customer that says, Amazing Quake Kitty. <laughs> Quake Kitty. That, that's totally... That, the person who wrote that review definitely could speak it's, English and was definitely dude. not from the company. <laughs> what I suspect here, when we go onto Amazon, we are going to see many sword-like objects and few real swords. And so what's this? Handmade sword. Japanese Wakazashi sword. Practical. Hand forged. 1045, 1060, 1080. I'm confused. Those are all different grades of steel. Yeah. What grade of steel is it? Hang on. Maybe you can select the quality of steel you want. I was just going to say, I was looking through Amazon and I found some really like strange sword, like just parts, you know? Yeah, I drop one in chat. I don't all know right. why they're just selling the hilt alone. You think they'd just sell a blade alongside it or something? That's odd. Yeah, weird, isn't it? Um, okay. The Realm. They copying my my world setting name the name of my world campaign setting is the realm um uh, i don't know i just be... think it's a really weird hilt so there's a couple of problems just like off the bat it looks too round the handle yeah you want it you want one that's nice and nice and kind of flat to index the blade okay it looks a bit too round and bulbous there the guard is way too thick and cumbersome but it looks like to be made of plastic as well so yeah yeah like, it is weird eh? like is it is it made so you can make your own plastic blade i don't know what's the description i don't know assuming well no all i could find was that picture hmm. Hmm. hmm well let's see if we can actually find a half decent sword on amazon the ace martial arts supply classic crane super handmade samurai katana hang on this is 58 it's quality for money you get tons uh, of quality with no that. like it's the mm. super handmade extra great special mayonnaise taken off it's just the best man the price of some of these make me question their quality a yeah. lot and, and that's what i was saying about the katana i mean a hand forged heat treated and tempered blade for yeah how much was that uh, 213 dollars Though, <laughs> no, like, it'll be mass-produced, okay? okay? We're not yeah. talking about, like, a custom, you know, handmade piece, okay? But I recently bought some katanas uh, that uh, was of good quality steel, um, and they're basic. Um, Squire, could you grab me one of my katanas? So, I'll, I'll grab this, thank you. So, oh, the blade on this is actually, I'm being impressed with. I forget what type of steel. It's not like, it's like, but it's a high-quality tool steel, really hard. The... Uh, the handling in the hand it feels really good with this one and uh, it's really sharp that look how plain the super is though it's got the super's got like nothing on it and it's got the most basic kind of um you know pattern or image on the on the underside um and so this is actually really affordable and i only and i got it just from a you know a, sh a store a supplier in australia that basically mostly sells wall hangers crappy wall hangers and all that things but I actually have been surprised you can get some half decent when i say half decent like blade quality decent um swords at a really cheap price i think this one was probably around 400 um but i have seen some that are half decent even in around the 200 range which is surprising it's uh it's actually a little known fact that even the cheapest of um you know katanas uh can actually cut through pretty much any european sword um yeah it's basically because it's slightly curved a little bit that's why it can cut through virtually any substance known to man i guess i'm yeah, fired I, I, i'll catch you guys probably yeah. never um, he's, ba he's banished he's gone we're, we're <laughs> just gonna banish him temporarily let's change the search parameters and just do sword i just flat sword oh uh, i hope the sword that i <laughs> doesn't come up <laughs> Uh, what if you sort by lowest price to highest? That way you'll get the cheapest pieces of crap. Uh, you can but find we want to see if you can actually find a half decent sword. So let's do highest price to lowest. We're going to sort by that and give it every chance. $10,000. Look at this piece of junk. Wow. This looks like... It looks fancy. Uh, no, it looks like garbage. <laughs> this is like $34. I bet some of those fittings are almost plastic, I would say. Don't get fooled yeah. into something like this, right? That is not pretty that is good. a royal piece of junk. In terms of fantasy designs, look, if it's actually made out of good quality steel, that is a fancy design. But clearly this is like, they make a blank, right? And then they have a mold that they mass produce and stuff to get the fittings on and everything. I've had a sword like this, actually. 
Back in the day, back, back in the day, please don't judge me. It was a gift to my brother, and my brother then didn't want it and gave it to me. Uh, and the actual guard was plastic, but it, it had a metal blade, but it was rough. Oh, it's a Lord of the Rings knockoff. Vulcan gear, medieval crusader sort of thing. <laughs> they're not even calling it Lord of the Rings. It's like, they're too ashamed to, oh, they'll probably get caught up for, I don't know, cover. There's enough differences in the... The, the most specific details, like how the gaps are in the cross guard and things, right? That I can probably get away with, like, oh, it's not really the sword, but it's a knockoff of uh, what's the name of the sword? Because like, I get confused. Nas Nasiel, Nasiel, yeah. Nasiel, or but there's another name for it. And I feel oh, like they've got tons of names for everything in Lord of the Rings. It's all just synonyms. <laughs> they've got like 50 <laughs> names for Gandalf. Yeah, so it's funny, China. They do not care about copyright laws at all. And they are they rip off patents all the time. And it's the same type of stuff. You China. Yeah. <laughs> Oi, they're right China. now we're on, a mine, we're on a minefield. We're stepping carefully. But this shouldn't be too controversial. It's like they rip off um, copyright laws all the time. They don't give us stuff. And so a lot of these companies in China can just rip off it, like intellectual IP, like sword design and stuff like that, and just flog them out on the internet, whatever. Um, and so that's what I'm. Uh, I think we're seeing here with these Lord of the Rings knockoffs and stuff. Um, so far, we're not seeing anything particularly good. Look at these twenty-six dollar Ninja Sword knockoff things. If they have a, if they're a decent steel, eh. but then you have the weight balance and handling and things like that, and it's like Ugh, then, then you're not going in the area that works well. A lot of these high prices are all Asian. Look at this one, Asian style sword. Hang on. Katana? That's a Chinese sword. Why are they calling it a katana? Is it because everyone does the search keyword katana and they want it to come Maybe. up in searches? It's not a katana! They're all $10,000. Yeah, these ones are all $10,000. Look at... This one's $10,000? Oh that one looks like a piece of junk. I think this might be a bit of a fast one being pulled on people looking for swords. I, I, I wonder, I wonder. Like, because... <laughs> This is, look at all these 10,000, now we're getting to 8,000 here. It's like, oof, oof, I wouldn't trust these. Hang on, I want to keep going until we actually see a European type of sword. And when I say, like, I have a preference for European type of swords, I don't say I don't love a lot, like, because European swords are a big category. And so there are a lot of Asian swords that I prefer over many types of European swords. But my top favorite, of course, long sword, war sword, my new, oh, mm. my new one is like, mm, I love that one. That's my new favorite sword at the moment. Yeah, and so what if I was after a long sword here, okay? And I'm just getting katana, katana, Chinese sword, Chinese sword. And if that's what you're after, but still, I would... Mm, I wouldn't be trusting him at the moment. But man, where's a decent longsword? Maybe you have to specify European ah, sword or longsword. Maybe sword. type in maybe type in longsword. Okay, so hey, they're selling rolling synthetic sparring swords. I've got a couple of those. Looking at this one, this is seven hundred dollars. Okay, and it is absolute trash. Look at the hilt on this thing. Look at how bulbous. Whoa. Look at how thick that hilt is. If the blade doesn't work, you can always hit them with the hilt. Oh, that's like a brick <laughs> for a hilt right there. And the handle is round. It's a fully cylindrical handle there. This is a piece of garbage, right? That costs more than my new favorite. That costs more than my windless English two-hander, right? Look at the, look at the thickness of the cross guard on this, right? And like... And, uh, or, 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 or on this one, which is, which is trying, do you see the thickness of the cross guard on this, right? Compare it to the thickness of the cross guard. Oh my goodness. Whoa, right? You could almost buy two of these for the price of that. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. I can't believe that $700. That, like, that is such a piece of garbage. And you can tell just by looking at it. I hope I'm not ragging out like there's this, you know, small business guy making swords that is selling on Amazon. Because there are actually some genuine, you know, well-intentioned craftsmen that sell stuff through Amazon. I bought one of my first bows through Amazon. No, not Amazon. eBay. It was eBay. eBay is, uh, is one of the areas where some of the good intention people sell stuff. So I actually don't know about Amazon. But yeah, I'm wondering, like, this is like some good intention, you know, making hand-forged swords and everything like that. And they're putting it up on Amazon. It's like, we were going to... That's, oh, I'm sorry, even if this is someone doing their best, that is a garbage sword. 
you would have to pay me to own that sword. <laughs> That's how reluctant I would be to even have it in my possession. Because it's that garbage. If I was going to spend $10,000 on a sword, I'd be going through to the maker directly, right? Or a reputed reseller of that brand online, okay? There are some reviews of this. Like, are there reviews actually? There were ratings. There's two ratings, but are there actual reviews? If there ever was a person that would spend $10,000 on a single sword, <laughs> it would be you. Look at this rating. Eh, it's okay. It's fine. Not worth 10K, but eh. That's someone's heartbreaking. You poor bloke, Gabe. I feel so sorry for you. <laughs> Yeah, but then there's another one from an Amazon customer that says, Amazing Quake Kitty. <laughs> Quake Kitty. That, that's totally... That, the person who wrote that review definitely could speak it's English and was definitely dude. not from the company. That's hilarious.